No Pride celebration is complete until you see Mr. Pride and his brightly coloured attire. Gareth Williams from Egbeth is a familiar face for many who have attended Pride in Liverpool. In a sea of rainbows, the 49-year-old, who now lives in Formby, still manages to stick out of the crowd thanks to his multicoloured suit. The LGBTQ plus community and its allies can expect to see him as the city comes together to celebrate on Saturday, July 29th. Gareth's gimmick of Mr Pride began while he was working as a project manager for Liverpool's Armistead Centre. The charity, which opened in 1997 on Bolton Street before moving to Hanover Street in 2013, provided free sexual health advice and guidance to LGBTQ plus people and sex workers throughout the city. Gareth wanted to highlight the positive work the community was doing and found wearing a brightly coloured suit was the best way to draw attention to himself. As of 2021, the Armistead Centre and its services closed down, but despite this, Gareth has continued his tradition. The Scouser has now attended over 50 prides, including St Helens, Southport, Chester, New Brighton and Preston, wearing his suit. Having attended every Pride event since the city's first in 2010, Gareth wants everyone to remember why Pride started and how, at its core, it is a protest. Quote, People ask why we need Pride, but we see every day why we do. The Vivian was attacked the other week in McDonald's unprovoked. This is just one of the many examples. There needs to be better understanding. The police in general have changed drastically and there has been a change for the better, but we need another service for LGBTQ plus people who need to speak to people so they can feel confident enough to report homophobic incidents. My first Pride was in London when I was 16 and I've gone to Pride ever since. It's a day for LGBTQ plus people to come out and see friends they haven't seen in ages and when same-sex couples can hold hands because they feel safe because of the strength in numbers. Gareth, who has a husband, hasn't always been this visible, as he recalled struggling growing up gay in South Liverpool. He added, quote, I'm very passionate about being visible because of the difficult life I had growing up with homophobic abuse and slurs. When I was younger, it was very difficult for gay people like myself. Thankfully, I've seen a drastic change for the better because the LGBTQ plus community is being highlighted everywhere. There are posters and events everywhere. I hate to say it, but it's becoming normalised, if you like. And that's what it should be like.